online radio. Welcome to the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network. Anywhere. This is your sound. This is the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network at UBNRadio.com. Live from Sunset Gower Studios, The Amazing Hour with Joanne O'Brien and Sabrina Johnson. There's a power here within me. There's a strength that's deep inside. If I'm willing to be willing. The field is open wide And I know I have the courage So I push my fears aside And allow these words of truth be heard From every mountain high I am amazing, I am amazing There's nothing Welcome, everyone, to our second episode of The Amazing Hour, where we celebrate everyday superstars. So we are live in Hollywood on the UBN Radio Network at the famous Sunset Gower Studios. We have a wonderful show lined up for you this evening. But before we introduce our guest, we have some fun items to cover. So, Sabrina. Yes. I, just, I think last week we got some feedback from our listeners that they would like to hear a little bit more about who we are. I think we just kind of launched the show and they were like, who are these two women? We don't know who they are, but they seem pretty happy and confident. So um, so why don't you start? You you tell everyone a little bit about, about your background. Okay. Well, I um, – if you – I am not a professional entertainer, but I do like entertainment. And more than anything, I love to ask people questions. I always have. I've just always had this real nosiness that's a, I call it a real joyful curiosity. And even as a kid, I can remember it was just, I would just ask questions and questions. And, uh, you know, I loved interview shows as a kid. I didn't like cartoons. And now I'm doing one. And I think it's great. And not only is this an interview show, it's really a show that really is about inspiring people to really know that they are amazing. I hear that song, and we're just all smiling in here. You should see us. The engineer is smiling. Everybody's smiling. Cause it's it a good song. Because it just gets us, like, so enthused. So, um, and that kind of goes along with, uh, you know, I um, am uh, what is, is called, a, like, a spiritual counselor. And um, I just believe that life is good. That's my religion, that life is good. Be kind. Be loving. And that's my religion. Oh, I love that. Be kind. Be kind is good. Yeah. Um, what about you? Well, I am a singer. I am a newfound songwriter. I wrote that first song, The Amazing Hour, with Mary Eckler. Um, <clears throat> and um, let's see. I am an artist. I perform regularly. Um, I love to have a microphone in front of me. So I love to ask questions. <laughs> and, um, and let's see. I am a recent cancer survivor. So um, I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We're going to talk about that um, later on in another episode as we get down into the summer. But that leads me to something that Sabrina and I are very passionate about. We are both doing the Relay for Life, which is an American Cancer Society walk. It's a 24-hour walk. But it's not 24 hours that you walk. No, you only walk as much as you feel like walking. And, um, and we're very excited about that. We're looking for team members. So if you want to come out and walk with us on June 21st or June 22nd and raise money for the American Cancer Society, we would love to have you. Um, if you cannot be here, you can support us. You can support us financially. And um, you could go to RelayForLife.org. We are in the Studio City team. And our, our team is the NHCRS Happiness Ambassadors. 
So if you put our names in, you're going to find it. So we're so excited to see our thermometer go up by the end of the show. Yes. So um, so what else? So um, we thought we would do something called the Amazing Challenge every week on the show. Sabrina, why don't you tell us what that's about? So, you know, every uh, – you know, it's like it's great when you – scroll through Facebook and there's all these questions or suggestions and you know Eleanor Roosevelt has that wonderful quote do something every day that scares you so we thought about we thought why don't we talk every week about the amazing challenge about something that we did every week that scares us I love it so Joanne what did you do this week that scared you oh um well, let's see one thing that I did this week um I made a request of someone. Um, I am putting together some publicity material for um, my music, and I wrote an email to um, the CEO of a million dollar, soon to be billion dollar company, and asked him if he would give me a testimonial. And I was so, wow. so frightened to hit send because I just thought, why why would he want to do mm -hmm. this for me and I was scared but I thought you know what you know either he won't read it or he won't respond and within I think it might have been an hour or two hours his response was gladly wow. so um so I faced my fear and I got a really great response a wonderful response how well, about my, you my fear was uh I am one of those like I I my primary background is I am a secretary, so I call myself Secretary of State because I'm a great secretary. So it's not just some executive assistant or something. I'm a Secretary of State, so I really handle things. But that's like background scene. But to really be out here and promoting myself and promoting the show, which means promoting myself, is scary. And I knew that that we had a guest coming on that has very much links to being a mom. Now I am way past mom age. I don't have children. I have friends that are grandchildren, and even their grandchildren are kind of like in college. And so I thought, gosh, this mom that is coming on, she has a product that is very much related to moms. And I know my neighbor is a wonderful mother of a six-year-old and a three-year-old. And I thought, wow, she knows so many mothers. Maybe she would be willing to promote this upcoming show. And it was really kind of scary. And I asked her, and not only did she love the product that our guests has come up with there is a reason and I'll tell you that later as I introduce our wonderful mompreneur the singing CEO she does channels Doris Day and she also creates these plastic bento boxes genius called easy lunch boxes Kelly Lester Yay! <laughs> well thank you Kelly, we are so delighted. So wait, wait, that's that sounded really funny. First of all, thank you. That was a lovely intro. She channels Doris Day and makes plastic lunch boxes. <laughs> this is a weird, weird lady. And, and, and it doesn't matter because she makes a ton of money doing it. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't matter. And not only that, but she gives a great service. Do you want to know why the mom was so? Why my neighbor was yes, so excited? Yes, tell me. Because I'll tell you. She looked at this and she instantly went. Oh, this is great. She goes, and it is BPA or B, right, BPA, BPA free. free. She goes, this <laughs> is the best thing ever, BPA free. And she thought that was the best thing ever that her children would have, not only easy, but safe. And that was Well, wonderful. if you're going to put food in it, we want it to be safe. Right. <laughs> kind of number one. Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> so that was wonderful. And, and so anyways, I just want to let you know. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much. That's uh, you know I, I I tried to I tried to make something that was make make things easy for people to pack healthy food and yes not have any chemicals in not it. have any chemicals <laughs> well Kelly you do a lot of things so um, we're 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 very excited to hear a lot about them but this easy lunchbox thing you're the number one bestseller on Amazon I mean you are the number one bestseller on well, Amazon in, in lunchboxes in lunch not not just <laughs> on Amazon in general <laughs> no, she's the number you'd one be at my, you'd be at my radio <laughs> radio station on my ranch somewhere in Northern <laughs> California if I was the biggest seller on Amazon all. but the number one seller of lunch boxes and hopefully you're 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 gonna go sky high tonight um, go to amazon.com and buy these easy lunch boxes right now and then Yay. and then tell us in the chat room that you are purchasing <laughs> however there is going to be a little giveaway later on so nice you know, yeah, don't, anyway don't, don't purchase, nice until, you don't purchase until you lose the giveaway there you go so 
how did easy lunch boxes how did it first just come into your thinking your how did you think this up um well i have three daughters and uh they all need to eat and school lunch uh programs here in los angeles not my idea of you know really what i want to feed my kids um and uh, so I was packing lunches and constantly frustrated. And I love to eat healthy, love to make great foods that everyone likes, but don't love to spend a lot of time doing it really at all. So my goal is to get out of the kitchen. And my goals are always, you know, get it done, move on. I'm a little sort of like obsessive about let's just get things done and move on. So I was always looking for something to make it faster. And once I figured out what to pack, then there was, you know, all these different containers and baggies, wasteful for the environment, blah, 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 constantly solving the, pro the puzzle of how do I fit it all together and get them out the door. So I came up with the idea of less containers with just one lid and one bottom. The bottom has the three compartments in it. So there's not all these different containers and nothing ever fits right. So one bottom, one lid, and one cooler bag that everything can fit in with the ice block and the water bottle, et cetera. While you're talking about it, I have to do a little um, show and tell <laughs> so that people can see if what they're you're, watching we're talking the video. about. If you're watching the video. So this is, this is what it is, and here is a lovely teal blue, which goes well with my eyes. Um, <laughs> and here, there's the three compartments. So you can see that there. And then this is the, this is the cooler. So. so the cooler bag will hold up to three of the containers, but mostly people just put one lunch container in it, and then it still has room for an ice block and a water bottle and an extra snack or whatever you might want to throw in there. So it just makes it super, super convenient. And I, you know, researched the market and did a little bit of homework because I'm not really a big um, test market person, do all the things. I didn't make a business plan. I did everything how you're not supposed to do it. I went, this is helping me. This is really helping me. This is a really good idea. If I'm this obsessed about it, other people will be this obsessed. That was my which, test which market. Which they were. Which I, well, great. Thank, thankfully, yes. If you they need were. it, somebody needs it. I think, well, that's. If you like it, somebody likes it. That's right. And, and, and the main thing is, is that when you find a product or you invent a product that actually helps solve a problem, if there is a problem and your product solves it and there aren't isn't a lot of competition or other ways to solve it you've already you know surpassed a huge stumbling block so the other thing is is that I kind of was researching around in the price point of what what would sell what would I pay for it and I figured out how to get it at a certain cost and sell it for a certain cost that I felt would appeal to um, you know families that maybe didn't have a high budget because there are other lunch uh, boxes on the market and lunch containers and some of them are quite nice and some of them are quite expensive especially when you have more than one child yes and right so that that was kind of my goal I wanted to make it easy and affordable and um, and how did you even find someone to develop to, to create it like do, do you know what I mean like the manufacturer how right. did you find the right manufacturer for you well I didn't know anything about plastic manufacturing at all so and I, now you do. I, very, very, I just I feel like the graduate. It's plastics. It's, it's plastics. plastics. It's plastics. plastics. Um, no, I'm, I tr I truly I truly knew nothing about manufacturing a plastic container. And um, I actually had another business that I sold in 2006. Um, it was called Art Plates, and it was decorative light switch covers that I started at my dining room table, decoupaging pictures on plastic light switch covers. And long story short, that ended up I had like 2,000 stores across the country and I was making all this custom work so with, amazing. with I art know. on it. So I, I I'm, I'm sort of good at figuring out things, really not knowing how to do it, what I'm doing, or following a methodology. I <laughs> I have a degree in theater. I don't have a degree in business. But, yeah. and, and I was very, very bad at math. So I just kind of go with what I like and what I think I would buy and what appeals to me, and I try to to put it. You know, I've only created you know two companies. It's Huge not like, companies. but but I the the bottom line is, do I like it? Would I buy it? Well, yeah. So I go, I start there, and I just kind of keep trying to learn. But the the plastic thing, I I called up. I was like, oh well, how do you get things manufactured? So I called up plastic manufacturing companies in the United States because my last company, I only dealt dealt with um, companies in the United States for all of my things that I needed for, for to build those products. And it was 
a fortune and also people wouldn't talk to me they're like well do you have any do you have, do you have your plans and your schematics and your and I was like what uh, uh. you know <laughs> it's like I don't know what they're talking about and 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 then they said well the mold is you know this how many thousands of and I was like this is outrageous and I don't know what they're talking about and then one gentleman that I talked with was very nice and I said look I don't know what I'm doing I'm just starting out how does this work and he goes it costs this you need this you really probably would want to manufacture in China I don't think you can afford the molds here because whatever and I was like you're right it sounds like I need to go to China and I was like okay I that's way way out of my comfort zone I can't deal with companies in China they have a completely different way of doing business I don't understand obviously I don't speak Chinese I don't understand anything about that so I went to my best friend anywhere in the world and his her name is Google I knew and you were I say that <laughs> we love Google we love Google and I and I was like how to make things in China how to something something and I came up with the term China sourcing agent and I was like ooh China sourcing agent what's that Google some more find a whole bunch of websites that say China sourcing agent we'll get your stuff made in China deal with us we speak English we're in the United States so we'll talk to these Chinese factories because that's what we do and I thought well that's what I need then I don't have to like figure that out I'll just hire the right person and I you know checked out a bunch of companies and I landed up ended up with a, a, a lady uh, who has her own company here and she actually lives in Southern California and it's funny because I've never met her and we've been doing business together for five years and she but lives she right has, here she, she lives really close to me she lives three miles so she really <laughs> lives two hours away because yeah, that's what it is in Los probably. Angeles but she has a they have an office in China and she's Chinese and she understands how to talk with the factories there and how it all works and she got me um, we were actually onto a different factory now. We sort of outgrew our first factory, and um, I've been very pleased with her services and the product that we've made, and she got me a great price. And it was a learning curve because there were a few times where it was like, okay, well, it's supposed to take two months to get, you know, the next shipment. And, you know, you have to plan way in advance, and you don't know that, well, China's having a little energy problem, and they're just trying to keep the lights on in the houses. So they're turning off all the power to all the factories. So sorry, we're not making your stuff because we're not working. Wow. Right. Wow. You know, so there there have been a couple of times during my busy season of back to school where I sell the majority of my product, um, even though it's, you know, for all ages back to school, obviously, because a lot of kids pack their lunches. Um, I, I had no product and we were sold out. And it's supposed to be a good problem to have, like, woo, you're sold out because you're so popular. But well, it was very, well, very upsetting. <laughs> one of the things that I'm hearing, which I I think I'm, it, it sounds as though you didn't have much self-doubt. You really just were like, I want to do this and I'm going to make it happen. And you didn't let anything get in your way. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I guess I don't have a lot of self-doubt about my ability to accomplish things. Um, when stumbling blocks happen, I tend to go through them unless it's a stumbling block that I'm not in control of. Like if somebody shuts a door and there's absolutely no way around it, I get very frustrated. Like if I can't, not that I'm a control freak, but I'm good at screwing up and making a mistake and oh God, why did I do that? Or that was obviously wrong and fixing my problems. But if some, but there have been a few times in, as, as it happens in all of our sure. lives, we are completely and utterly out of control of a particular situation. Somebody else owns the website or, and they, you know, whatever. Or that's the times that I am in a heap on the floor crying because I have zero control and there's not one thing I can do to fix it. Right. Those are the, thankfully, not too often times where I'm a basket case and thank God for my wonderful husband because he's constantly picking me up off the floor. <laughs> so I want to know when you, you first conceived this idea till you actually had product in hand, how long did that take? Uh, nine months. Nine oh, months. cool. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, the one thing that I hear you uh, say is that, which I, I like is that, yes, you knew that this was something you wanted and you knew that it was like, just like you knew that you liked the light switch cover plates and you really have that clear there's no doubt about that you knew it was a product you were going to use mm -hmm. I think a part of what you do so effectively is you take in your um, education in theater arts and a, a master communicator because a big part of anything as we know is education 
So yes. you really educate the client or client, <laughs> corporate world here, <laughs> corporate world who yes. talking to my adorable, lunch, my lunchbox y- clients. Yes, your lunchbox <laughs> clients and cor- corporate world talking to, to no, but you, um, you, you really uh, educate your customers so that they know how to use the easy yes. lunchbox, why it's easy, how to make it easier, and you do this in in many ways, which mm-hmm. we'll talk about when. Uh, you know, one of the ways is that you do have a, a, a cookbook that you wrote, mm-hmm. and I have it here. Oh, let's bring out the cookbook. Let's I want to show the cookbook. cookbook. I love this cookbook. I, I, this 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 was a, a real a real blessing. Uh, one day the phone rang. Um, it was a Friday at four o'clock, and the publishers of this cookbook. It's called Cooking with Trader Joe's Cookbook. Who doesn't love Trader Joe's? And it's called Cooking with Trader Joe's Cookbook Easy Lunch Boxes. And the publishers, it's independently published. Um, they call called me up on a Friday afternoon and said, we really love your lunch containers and we publish, you know, this series of what to do with a lot of the food that they sell at Trader Joe's. We'd like you to write a book showing, you know, lunches packed in your containers all of about, you know, with Trader Joe's foods. And I said, "Uh, oh, okay, but I I don't make up recipes. I don't really cook. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> How am I going to write a cookbook? But Kelly, they're they're beautiful. They're really easy to assemble. Beautiful so, pictures. It's amazing. Like you were, you said I didn't know how to do this, and I'm just going to figure it out. Well, I, I, my, my, my immediate thought was, I can't possibly do this. What are they talking about? There's no way I'm writing a cookbook. And then I said, but I'll tell you what I do do, which I had already been doing uh, for a while, because this this was a, uh, I believe this is now out for two years. Uh, uh, two years, I think. Yeah. So uh, the time goes by so fast. Yeah. It's been two years. Thank you. Um, what I had been doing all along, which is how they found me, was I, from, from the beginning, I've, I've decided that I'm the master sharer. Yes. And the master, like you, like you, yep. were, you, were, you were commenting about my communication really? skills. I, I, I love to communicate, and mostly I love to um, point out what other people are doing yes. that's amazing. That's why, of course, I, I, I wanted to be on your but, show. You're talking about people doing amazing but, things. Exactly. But Kelly, not only do you do that, you do it in a way that is very articulate and accessible. Yes. Okay. So exactly. like you would never say channeling Doris Day. <laughs> but you do it in people a way. People are still wondering why yeah, she keep still, talking about she Doris is, Day. She does a Doris Day review. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk but, about that. We'll talk about that. But you, you're you very, you're not abstract. You're very articulate. You have the, I saw one thing, a three second rule. If they don't get it in three seconds, it's over. Right. So you really are articulate, snappy, quick, and also informative. Well, I try to, I try to, I, I learned a long time ago that when you set up a website, you have a business, whatever it is, you kind of have to, excuse me if anybody is offended, stupid proof yeah. it. Because in this day and age, I people, need everything stupid well, proof. Twitter you know, needs to be stupid well, proof yeah, for me because I'm still learning that's it. That's true. Attention span. It, no, it, it's, it's, a, it's an attention span problem and it's also um, a lot of people do come to me for advice um, about their websites. I'm in a, a, a wonderful private Facebook group with a whole bunch of other mompreneurs. Many of them are, st- oh my goodness, Ooh. that was fun. We had a little, we had a little light, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> a little light thing. <laughs> Fall from the ceiling. Dif- diffuser is now a hat on, and I just on Joanne. Say, and Joanne was, worried oh, about, Joanne was worried about her lipstick. Forget that. <laughs> it's a bib. No, it's a bib. <laughs> no, I can eat out of my easy <laughs> Tube top. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. Oh, funny. A gift, so funny. A gift Are we from safe heaven? now? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, that was so funny. <laughs> That was that exciting. That is so funny. Can I, I want to show this picture because I, I love this book and, and anybody who lives in Los Angeles, um, you can, this is great for the Hollywood Bowl. It is. So That's a great can idea. Can you see this picture yeah, here? Yeah, okay. So like, so every single thing in this cookbook is packaged in the easy lunchbox. So you can just well, see it shows how you. It shows you. Well, the, a lot of the there are some other, of course, lunch packing um, books on the market, and a lot of them have great ideas and great recipes, but they don't actually show you. Well, okay, now that you have it, how do you put this like sandwich that's spilling all ev- everywhere into a you know right. lunch container that you can easily transport exactly. somewhere so that that's why the book and came this about fun. this is the european picnic breakfast but let me th- okay, and, ahead, and let ahead. me tell you though that is absolutely not my uh, a recipe or idea or packing how the book came to be when they said well can you write a cookbook and i said i i, I don't cook <laughs> um i don't come up with recipes but i know a lot of people who do because by then like i was telling you i had already been sharing what i think 
are amazing, amazing moms, dads, people who pack lunches with amazing amounts of healthy things and feed their families and are very, very passionate about that food that they make. And they're food bloggers, bento bloggers. They, you know, pack bento lunches. Many of them obviously use my containers. So that's how I got all of them together. And I said, hey, you, you want to be in a book? And the majority of them said, yeah, I would love to be in a book. And yeah, I love Trader Joe's. So let me be in your cookbook. And they gave me their recipes. And I had a wonderful... Um, photographer, another food blogger, yes. take pictures of, of all the And she tells the her story. Yes, and everyone's story is in there. And what I love about the book is that it's not just cookbook or how to pack lunches. There are, I think, 32 yes. contributors in that book, and everyone gets their own page, and everyone tells their story. Why do I pack lunches? What are my challenges? My my child is, you know, has this, you know, uh, allergy. allergy, and Ugh. my husband can't eat this or whatever or vegan, it is, or, or a vegan, vegetarian. You got There's everything a, exactly. And even and what I really like is not only did you get everything, but. Your daughter has a story. Oh, in oh that, yeah, which tell is your daughter's so story. Wonderful. My, my oldest daughter, Jenny, who actually just graduated college um, last month, um, she has a whole chapter in there because she was a busy theater, um, musical theater uh, student, and all of her friends loved packed lunches in my easy lunch boxes. And so she wrote a whole chapter about what does she put in her easy lunch boxes container so she's she's one of the contributors so i was i was thrilled to include her and she and her friends had the best time you know across the country um doing their own little photo shoot you oh. know that was included in the book and uh it was great. it was just a lot of fun the crazy part about it was um i had to come up with the first draft in six weeks which is really unheard of for a cookbook for, but for the they, cookbook. they came up with this idea at the last minute they're like okay well we need it in six weeks oh wow and i was like oh okay sure I mean, can you? I know. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, coordinating, no. coordinating, thirty-two people and the picture. It was, it was insane. But I was like, okay, okay, let's go. You just do it. It was a little stressful. You just do it. You just do it. Well, you know what? It's. I think it's time for our giveaway. We love to give stuff. But away we're not on this giving show. the book away because it, uh, you can get that on Amazon. But we're giving really, really cool stuff away. Okay, so before we do the giveaway, get your pen out and write down this number. Um, the number to call in, and the first person who calls with the correct answer, and with the correct answer. So the number is 323-843-2826. That's 323-843-2826. And what we're giving away, Kelly, do you want to tell us what we're giving away before we oh, ask sure. the question? Oh, um, One of my lunch cooler bags. They come in seven colors, and you get to pick which color. And also one of my Easy Lunch Boxes container sets, which includes four, four lunch containers. And that comes in a choice of two different color sets. And it's very, very, very generous. Thank you. Yeah, really. Of course. Super I'm generous. Happy to. Okay, so you guys all have your pens out and stay at your computers because you might need your computer in order to come up with this answer. So, Kelly, what is, what is the giveaway question? Okay, the giveaway question is what city – is the um, city where the newest Trader Joe's just opened. Where is the newest Trader Joe's? Okay, so while you all are looking that up online, we're going to do something fun. So, yeah, okay, so Sabrina, to, go ahead. So uh, this is another thing that we got from uh, – now, this will change every week, but this is what came up this week on Facebook, a question. If you had a theme song that played every time you walked into a room, what would it be? So let's start with our – guest who does not channel Doris Day, but she <laughs> actually does a beautiful and really fun review. It's a Doris and Day tribute. A Doris Day, Day yes. tribute. Yes. And it's yes. wonderful. Thank and it's you. Like, I mean, it just made me wish for that show so much. Oh. <laughs> so what would your theme song be My if you gosh. walked into a room? Um, wow. Well, gee, now you're really putting me on the spot. Um, you know, there's you know there's a song there's a song it's called turn 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 I oh, think yeah. the oh I love it the birds, the yeah. birds. I have that I okay. actually have the I'll LP. tell you I'll tell you why I love that song so much it's all about everything happening when it's supposed to happen yeah. there's a season oh, for everything this, and I am so all about like it's taken me a long time I'm not going to tell you how old I am on the air I'll tell you in private um but 
it's always things happen at the right time and I've gotten so much better at being patient I was like okay well if I don't get this job I'll get that job or if this doesn't happen something else is coming around the corner and I don't be like oh my god it has to happen now it has to happen now because things have never happened when I want them and then the most amazing gifts just show up yeah. like hey do you want to write a cookbook hey do you want to do this hey I do you want that. like s some amazing th things I really and love that. the Doris Day tribute show came about because somebody said hey do you want to create a Doris Day tribute show oh. for the Crystal Cruises? And I was like, uh, what? Oh. Oh, okay. That is incredible. Like, things just show up when they're supposed to. Turn, turn, turn. But you, know, but you know, there's something else to this, and that is that you're very open and receptive. Yes. Because you don't just say, oh, wait a minute, what are you talking about, Doris? Dang. <laughs> no, what? What? And then you are very, Ooh. you know. We have our first. We have, oh, 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 oh. Somebody and won? I don't know the answer. Somebody so won? I somebody hope won. Right. I hope so. So Kelly knows the answer. So I hope I remember the answer. I looked it up a couple days ago. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what do they say? It is? Okay, go ahead. Come on okay, on. Okay, I know. Who Hello? is it? Who is it? Hello. Who are you? Hello. Yes, can we can hear you? Who's calling? My name is Cheryl. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, it's, is this Cheryl Gottemuller? <laughs> Yes, this is. Hi, okay. Cheryl. Cheryl Thank did you. all of our Thank phenomenal you, graphic designs for the show. So, oh, Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl. Yay. Thank I'm so glad you, you called in. I want to okay. win the lunchbox. I know okay. you do. She's competitive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer, Cheryl? Well, the store that just opened is in Austin, Texas, but um, there's also one in Austin, Northwest Texas, that will be opening June 20th. So, the one in Seaholm is the one that just opened, though. Right. Right. Ding, well, ding, 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 ding. Right. We have a winner. Did I win? Cheryl, you won. You won. You won. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl, you could have said it opened in Anchorage, Alaska, and we'd still give it to you. <laughs> okay? Because thank you so much. Yay, Cheryl. All right. Well, this is great. So, Cheryl, I will contact you and give you the code on where to go, and, and you can pick your colors and all that fun stuff. So, thank you, Cheryl Gattemuller. Thank you for your beautiful graphic designs. Thank you we so much. We love you. Congratulations, thank you so much, Cheryl. Cheryl. Too. Thank Yay. you so much. All right. Well, that's fun. Okay. Bye, Cheryl. So before we go on. Okay, Sabrina. Theme? Oh, my theme. Okay. When you walk into a room. This is my theme. This has been my theme for a really long time. What's that? It's the Mary Tyler Moore theme. Oh, my oh, gosh. I love that. Who can turn the world on with her smile? Oh. Who can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem I worthwhile? I love that song. Well, it's you guys. <laughs> you know. Oh, I love that. I love that song. And the hat. I love that. I love that song. And, and, and wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> That's great. I had a hat. So. That was that okay. was Mary's. Uh, that was the one time Mary uh, Tyler Moore had a bad hair day. I had a bad hair day. <laughs> the one time right. I okay, remember Sabrina, that. Sabrina, you got to tell us your theme song. Uh, well, yeah, we want to know. I've been thinking about this, and I'm not musically inclined, but all I could really think about was like maybe like Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Just that's, like you made it, right? Yeah. That's, you made that's it. Good. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much good for anything that happens or, all day long, or, or no know, matter what it is. Or, you know, Sydney, I love that. Sydney Portier in Lily's, uh, it's Lily's the Field, you know, I love that when he teaches the nuns to sing. And what, just, what song it, is it? Amen. Oh, and <laughs> Amen. So I just thought it would be like fun. And it's like, I'm not like really, I'm not. I'm not thumping anything except <laughs> this wonderful show, okay? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, um, before you know what, be, here's another thing. Before we go on, would, would you be cool if somebody called in if someone had a question oh, for you? Oh sure. And do we have anyone in our chat room hanging out? We do. We do. We've got some some chatters. If somebody has a question for Kelly, we would love for you to call in and um, and ask away. They're sharing their songs. Oh, everyone's sharing their songs. Okay, oh, tell yeah. us a couple yes. of songs. Uh, Peggy Sweeney says my song is to dream the impossible. Oh, oh Peggy Sweeney nice. was our guest last yes. week. Yes. And oh. she's in here. Impossible Dream is Hers. Uh, Who else? Um, let's see. Well, so far, just Peggy right now. Okay, oh, okay, great. 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 So now they're all going to start coming on. Yeah. Okay, so now that you didn't, whoever did not win the the lunchboxes, go to Amazon right now and order your easy lunchboxes. And, and your Trader Joe's book. And your Trader Joe's book. Uh, um, I mean, my, book. um My... I have a I, my phone is going off the hook. Everybody is texting me saying they love the show and they're having a great Aww, time. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can go to easylunchboxes.com to learn more. There. Oh, thank you. Oh, great. Oh, you oh, okay. are very special. I just have to tell you that you don't see him, but we have the best engineer. Uh, we do. <laughs> John is like so great, and it's just I mean, you know, people 
asked me, they said, is this the first time you've ever done anything like this? And I go, yes, and it's because people like John oh, and Joanna true. and our guests, everybody here, it's just great. And tell them, he, tell them that he's cute, too. Oh, he's that, so cute. That always helps. helps. Oh, he's John. so cute. He's, he's really, so cute. Really now he's all red. He's, he's really eye. red. <laughs> he's turning <laughs> redder. <laughs> So Kelly, I have a question about yes. you, uh, about you, mm -hmm. and about like, um, so would I, I? This lunchbox is wonderful. So you are the singing CEO, uh, and I coined that phrase myself. I love that. <laughs> so being the singing CEO and everything, um, can you talk about two things that I'm curious about? One is before we go, I want to know about your musical career because in your musical show, mm -hmm. the Doris Day. But the other thing is. Uh, there's a wonderful, um, really informative to me, video that you have on one of your blogs of Wells Fargo giving you this uh, wonderful opportunity to uh, get your business ready for sale. Um, yes, actually. Ba -dum -bum. That's yeah. some big news. Yes, it's actually my my company is on the market right now. Um, I I'd, I'd like to sell it. Um, let me back up. You asked about the singing CEO. I have a background in theater, and um, I love to do musical theater, and I love to sing. And so when I came up with the idea for Easy Lunchboxes, um, I thought, well, the only way I know how to market things is to just be myself. And I thought, well, I'm going to put myself out there as the face of the brand because I sort of I just didn't want to sell plastic lunch boxes. I wanted to just be so much more involved in it and create a brand that people, I felt like I was I was a mom, I pack lunches, um, a lot of moms pack lunches. That would be something that people could relate to. Why not with my performing background and my ability to you know get in front of the camera and smile or whatever, I could just be the face that people could relate to. And so because I also sing, I thought, well, what could I do Hmm, with singing and being the mom and the face of the brand. And I came up with, um, we did a couple of videos that are singing and dancing. My husband wrote and directed them. And I sing and dance with a couple of different celebrities. Uh, one is uh, Sam Harris, wonderful singer. Oh, and, we love and, Sam. And, and, and Barry great. Williams from the Brady Bunch. So I have these two big videos that we created called Let's Do Lunch, where we do singing and dancing with easy lunch boxes. I know it sounds crazy, but like it's check wonderful. them out. It's wonderful. It is so yeah. great. So, so that's how that came about, and I thought, well, I'm the singing CEO, and of course, I Googled it, and there wasn't anybody. So I, have, I love that. I own, I own the domain and all that kind of stuff. Like I thought, okay, I'm going to be the singing CEO. You're no one, the singing. No one else took it. I so. love that. Does that does that go with the sale of the company, or does that go to well, the next the company? Thing. Um, if if a, a buyer, it's it's you know, I've I've built a very very successful brand, and the company is successful, and I think that part of what makes it so successful is yes, it solves a problem, but it's become if you're in that niche of looking at lunch boxes and stuff, pretty much everybody worldwide has heard of easy lunch boxes. If you know you're in the lunch box, you know world, so it's a very um, powerful brand. And if a buyer wants to come along to buy my company, and they would like me to stay on as the face of the brand and continue to do what I've done, which is build the brand. Um, because of the community I've built, because of bringing together people who pack healthy food and who want to feed their families and themselves well. And that's the strength of the brand in helping people to do that. It's not just like, here's a product, well, what do you do with it? It's and we're going to show you, and we're going to just share what everyone else is doing that makes it work I for them. I want you to address that part, that element of how social media was what launched your business. If, sure. You know, and how you leverage social media, what was, what was, well, you know what I'm asking. Yeah. Go for well, it. Well, after I found my China sourcing agent and I spent all this money to buy all this product from China and get it here, I had no money left. And I had a warehouse full of thousands of lunch containers and no clue as to how to get anybody to buy them because when I started my first company, um, there were no websites. I was really on the ground floor. So I put up my website and everyone found it because I had no competition. Well, when I started Easy Lunch Boxes, there were already a lot of lunchbox websites and blogs and there, I was lost in a sea of, you know, you couldn't find me. So I started looking around and I saw that everybody was writing blogs. What's a blog? Figure that out. What's social media? I didn't know what so I was like, oh, that's a term. And I realized that bloggers were writing reviews and that kind of thing. So I reached out to bloggers. They wrote reviews of my products. And all of a sudden, like there were all these links going back to my website. And I didn't pay for any of these. 
I didn't I didn't spend any money on advertising. I've never spent money on advertising. It's all by a word of mouth. So it started with one blogger, then two bloggers, then ten bloggers, and and for the first couple of years, every day I would receive emails from at least two or three bloggers. Can I review your easy lunch boxes? And it got to be like overkill for a while, um, but. That is what built it to hundreds, if not more, blog reviews That's that incredible. then get shared on Facebook. Then, two, I think it's two years ago now, Pinterest came on, and that's oh, where you share yes. photos of what you're packing. I'm not much like Trader Joe's. It's what you're passionate about. What, yes. what you're passionate you're about exactly. Yes. But because I just had the perfect storm of of a product, you know, a, a good a good price. It helps people, and people love to take pictures of what they're eating and a, an awareness what, of what, and what they're what they're packing for yes. lunch. So Pinterest really blew up my business, and by then, of course, I was already on Amazon. So people were sharing, you know, there's. I don't need hundreds of thousands it must be of pictures now just oh, yeah. circulating sure. everywhere on yeah. every social media site now of lunches now, packed in my container. Social media can suck the life out of you Ugh. for the amount of time it takes to learn it and also get distracted on it. So how did I, you streamline I didn't. really being effective? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't. I, Thank you no, for being honest. No, 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 now we're going to get to the reality. Your no. children are all now, in therapy. My mother gonna... was never there. <laughs> Thank God my children are not in therapy. They just do musicals. Maybe it's the same thing. Oh, that's thing. wonderful. That that's is great. the same thing. <laughs> Is great. But, I love that. But no, um, I, I have to tell you that my blood, my butt, my butt is now <laughs> flat as a pancake from sitting on it for sometimes 12 hours a day in front of the computer. This is not pretty. Yeah, because you're of the, the only most employee. Of the time I have no makeup on and I'm wearing my pajamas. You're the only employee. I am the only employee. And you do everything I by really do. personal service. I really do. I, I share things and I look for lunch pictures on Pinterest. I share I share, I share and I talk to people all day via email, Facebook, Twitter, blah, 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 all day long. It is exhausting. You can drown in it. I have to force myself to get up and, you know, talk to the people in my home who I love dearly. <laughs> and my husband always goes, um, are you going to stay up all night? I mean, that's that's like constant. Are you going to stay up all night? So I've gotten better. Now I only stay up half the night. No. Um, but it's it's. It's but I'm glad you're being honest about that. I'm being that very because, honest. It's debilitating. Because the packaging and everything, it just looks, I mean, you, when you see yes, this, yes. you can immediately just think, oh, this is just so easy, right, and she's got yeah. this whole thing together, and she's got her, you know. But it doesn't come without sacrifice and without a lot of work. A it's, lot it's a of lot of work, work but and I, due diligence. But I have to say that um, what I think also has helped is that I have I have pretty much done everything myself. I learned Photoshop with my last company, so I was able to design the packaging, the artwork. I design all the stuff on my website, my blog. I make everything look good. I make everything eye appealing. But I taught myself that so that I don't have to pay someone else and stand over somebody else and go, wait, can you move it over to the left a little bit? Like we did to poor Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said Cheryl. So, so, so when you go on the cruise almost, it's like a vacation. Well, I, I actually Even I just got work. back. I just oh, yeah. Got so back. tell us about that because yes. I realize we're getting... We, we're closing we in on here. You know, we've that. got about, about eight more minutes for the show, and we want to hear about Doris Day. Oh, well, I. Que sera, sera, ah, whatever will be. Well, on Crystal Cruises, they had a very, very special film and theater theme cruise celebrating Doris Day. This is her 90th birthday year. She just turned 90. A amazing, amazing, wonderful incredible talent and uh, my friend Christopher who is the entertainment manager of the cruise he, we became friendly and he got to see my work and and as we became more and more friends a few months ago he said you know what I really I really need you to create this Doris Day tribute show we need oh, a performer that's doing this and there isn't one out oh. there that I really really want to see a particular thing and 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 a woman singing Doris Day songs and you're the person to what do an it honor. and I said I, 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 I I've never done a solo show before oh you're are you kidding no I am because not kidding because Kelly and I we know each <laughs> yes, other because we yes. did a show together yeah yeah, yeah but what? just I sang I sang one 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 song a, and I sang one right, song in so that show I've sung in clubs but I've never had a solo show for an hour Ooh. just me on stage so anyway another challenge that I just you know it was wonderful and the I'm not, clip and I'm, it was so much fun wasn't it 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 was it was ecstatically I was ecstatically happy to be standing up there with a six piece band I had it all arranged you know arrangements made it was it was really quite joyful to do the show and to sing her material and to bring back what I believe is her special special lovable essence yes. and the quality yes. of her performance that was my goal I don't imitate her I yeah. don't you know yeah. try to impersonate her I try to tell tell her story that's talking and singing and you know, do her do her songs, 
do her songs in the style that she did it. Well, we have somebody who is calling in and wants to oh. talk to you. So, who uh, who's here? Hello. It's Dean Regan. Who is it? It's Dean Regan. Hi, Hi Dean. Dean. Oh my God, Hi, Dean. Hi. We all know Dean. Oh wow, do Dean. you know you know Dean? I do. Oh, I love it. Dean, I Dean love and it. I go way way oh, back. Oh, I love it. Way back. I love this. I love okay, it. Okay, what's your question? Well, Kelly, first off, were you, did you have any, um, was it smooth sailing with Crystal physically? Did you get seasick? Oh, Dean, Dean, <laughs> Dean, the question of the hour. I got seasick literally two hours before my rehearsal with the band right before showtime. I was on the cruise for 12 days, and the one day that it was rough was the day I had to do my show, oh, and no. I got sick. That is so funny that you would actually ask that question, and that's the truth. And you know what? Now that I got over it and I did it, and the, the ship was rocking back and forth, like you, my whole goal was where did not, you go? We went to the Caribbean. Oh, okay. And the goal was not oh sing great and do a great job. The goal was literally do not fall off your four inch heels. <laughs> that was really oh, all that was in my head the whole time. I'm not kidding. Uh, but I posted a video of clips of it, and you That's wouldn't great. know you wouldn't no. know that the ship was rocking because no. I, I I just planted my heels. I was afraid to walk, but I I did every once in a while, and I was like okay, I'm here. I won't move for a while. I'll just stand here and sing <laughs> oh my dean, god dean it's so cool that you called in and i'm sorry but you didn't win the easy lunch box to take lunch <laughs> no you did not you're I'm so, so sweet sorry. to call well, we'll meet you for coffee yeah <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll give, we'll do you dean, have another question dean i do actually um is there anything while you were up there on your four inch heels uh trying to stay stable and be this wonderful presence of song and you've put this wonderful company together with uh, with all of your sitting on your butt doing your website work and social media and becoming a singing CEO, was there anything that you called upon as a theatrical professional, professional, somebody who's really trained in theater that helped you do all of these wonderful oh. things? That's a good well, question. I actually could not have done the show, thank you for asking, without my amazing husband who actually wrote and directed it because I am not a writer. Oh, that is one thing that I can't do. I do not write. I'm not going to like say that I can write. So that was a huge challenge. Thank you for asking that, Dean. And and Dean is an incredible performer, yes. singer, is an incredible is. singer, performer. singer, Great. singer, singer, stylist, you know, oh, Broadway yes. performer, everything. He's so yes. see, he so he knows that you got to get a team around you yes. to help you through these things and when I had the opportunity, I said to my husband, you have to help me. You have to help me. And he did. He wrote a wonderful script that really tells her story. And he's an incredible director. And he, we just talk in shorthand. He's, I love you it. Know, so oh, it's, it's Dean, easy to work you. with him. We're getting thank close you. to the end of the show, so I don't want to miss anything. Do you have anything coming Dean, up? Dean, thank you very much. Thank you, Dean. Oh, thanks. Bye, thank Dean. You. Bye, Dean. Dean. Oh. <laughs> do you thank have anything you. coming up that we need to know about? Uh, do I have anything coming up? No, I don't have anything coming mm -hmm. up because such is the actor's life. I'm up for a few things, but I can't talk about them because, you know, you don't talk about jobs until you get them. All right. So I have nothing to say except Easy you can find bumps. me online. But if we wanted to find you, where would we find oh, you? Kelly, Kelly okay. Le KellyLester.com and EasyLunchBoxes.com. And we can follow you on Twitter. Yes. At Kelly Lester. At, no, at, at The Singing CEO. The Singing CEO. You know what? All the links are on either kellylester.com or okay. easylunchboxes.com. You'll find, you'll, find, you'll find so much of me, you will just be <laughs> tired of me very quickly. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, this is great. Now Thank we you so much. we're oh, so we're, we're very grateful so to have much. you on the show. Yay! We have I to love talk an about, audience. I know, isn't it wonderful? We have like a Hi minute. everyone. Even Yay! if you taped them and downloaded them, um, we have like a we, minute. To we have wrap. like a minute or two to wrap up the show, but we want to talk just quickly about next week, and then we'll get to our final final thing. But next week, first of all, can I say, or yes, do you want to say? Absolutely. Oh, next week on Tuesday, birthday. June tenth, is my birthday. Yay. So Happy I take birthday. gift cards. You can send things to the chocolate, studio. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. chocolate. But that's Hunky my birthday. Man, chocolate. And so um, for my birthday, we're having Carol Allen on the Yay. show, who is an astrologer. Love is in the stars. So you can check out her website beforehand. Great website. So Carol Allen will be our guest uh, next week. And um, and let's just do go go we're for just, it. We're just gonna wrap it up by asking uh, our guests and each other three things we're grateful for. And uh, oh yeah, yeah. So wow. three things you're grateful for. Oh my gosh! Well, of course, my amazing husband and my three beautiful, beautiful daughters. Um, I'm very grateful that my parents are still with us, and they are my biggest fans. That is just 
amazing that's a good to me. One. That's amazing that's to me. Good. So I love, love, love them dearly. And um, well, I guess for my best friend Google. I mean, oh. honestly, and the internet. I, I we mean, love I would I would be nowhere without the internet and Google. I just you know I'm I'm grateful for Google. Well, I don't think we have enough time for each of no, us to do no. three. So I'm gonna say yes. thank you to Ted Sutherland for coming and doing my carpets today and oh. cleaning all the carpets in our house. Ted, I'm giving you a free sponsorship. You want to know God to do your carpets, Ted? I love okay, clean so carpets. Okay, so that's Ted and Sabrina. I, you. I just want to thank. Uh, John and our guests and UBN Radio, really, just for having us here. Yeah, it's that's such a fun experience to come to this historic place. Gunsmoke, I think, was filmed here. Anyways, <gasps> oh, everything wow. goes on. It's so much fun. Sunset and Gower and this wonderful Tony and Ann who own the station. John, our wonderful guest, Joanne. Yay, the whole Kelly, Yay. Sabrina. This we're just wonderful so... window view we have. And, yeah, we're just, I mean, we're, we're just like so we're grateful. grateful. Thank you. So, And wonderful. we're grateful for all of you who are listening. Yes. Please tell your friends. We really want to build a listenership and make this show yes. something something big and fun. You guys so. are amazing. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Thank all right. Thank you for having Good us. Good night, everyone. Thank you, John. Great that was fun. Hey. Woohoo! Are we done? Yeah. Okay, Are so we like.